This video will teach you how to set up VMware monitoring for your entire landscape within minutes. Double click the software icon to start the installation once you have downloaded the NICE VMware management pack from the NICE customer portal. When prompted, accept the terms and conditions. Change the default path if you want to. Hit Next to finalize the installation. Now you will define a user account to run the monitoring service on your VMware service based on API calls. By default it is set to local system. You can use any account having administration rights on the Windows system you are installing the solution. The admin rights are needed to access the Windows Management Instrumentation space. You will find the installed files under the path provided during the setup. Open the Task Manager tool and verify that the new NICE VMware service process is up and running. If you open the service, you will see it's running as the user defined in the setup, collecting the data required for monitoring. Next, a license is needed to run the VMware Management Pack. You can add the license by opening the VMware Management Pack Administration GUI. Click on Options and select Add License Key. Enter your license key to the interface and hit OK. The service now needs to be restarted. For the nerds, open the service via CMD, Stop and Restart it. Now you define which VMware system the solution is going to monitor. You can do this again from the VMware Management Pack Administration GUI. Click Administration and select Add Managed VMware Server. Specify the VMware Server name and the user who is going to connect to the VMware Server to run API calls and collect the data. The collection status now changes to Retrieving Data, with a default collection interval of 300 seconds, which equals 5 minutes. Now you need to import the management pack into your SCOM console. In the SCOM server console, click on Administration, open the tab Management Pack, then select Installed Management Packs. In the right side window, click Import Management Pack, click Add from Disk, move down your installation path, then select the MVP files of the folder nice slash vmwmp slash mbps. Click Open to import them. Once imported, the auto discovery does its magic. You will see the various state views fill up the data collections and dashboards, starting with the data center diagram, where you can drill down into different data centers attached. Click Open a data center will display its data stores. Clicking Open a data store will display its details. The data store diagram will show you how the data stores are being used and set up. Hosts is the next level picked up for monitoring. In the actual host, you will see what exactly is monitored, for example, the license and storage. You can create your own views, adding whatever monitor detail you want to see. To get a quick overview on which machines are monitored and what their health state is, open the Diagram view in the Virtual Machines tab. Once the discovery for the entire environment is made, the different monitors and rules will automatically start monitoring, giving you alerts on critical findings such as VMs not having the required toolsets installed or a cluster running out of storage. You can change the severity of any metric depending on your needs. To change the monitoring depth, open the VMware Topology Discovery Click Product Knowledge and scroll down to see which level includes which VMware components. Left-click the VMware Topology Discovery, open the Overrides and set the monitoring to your desired level. By default, Level 2 is set. You can use the VMware Management Pack Admin Console for high-level changes such as what to discover and what parts to exclude from monitoring. In the Admin Console, open Edit Monitoring Settings for the server you want to change the settings. 
Decide if you want to have new entities added automatically to the discovery and monitoring, as well as if you want to exclude existing VMs, data stores, networks or VMware hardware hosts. To filter out entire data centers, clusters or parts of it, open Edit Monitoring VMware Entities. Select the checkboxes to include or exclude data centers, entire clusters or just parts of it. Note, this comes into play as COM limitations are restricting the number of monitored objects to 1200. This can be overcome by splitting the monitoring of your VM data centers onto two or more monitoring servers. Thank you for watching the nice VMware Management Pack tutorial. For more information go to www.nice.de slash nice-vmware-mp or drop us a line at solutions at nice.de